Hi, Pricey. Nice to see you. Hi, Luke. Hi, Sean. Richard. Nice. Welcome, everybody. Well, so far, Pricey, my day's going good. I've been working on the John Deere. And uh, so it's coming along nicely. It's a tough build. Hi, Bitu. Nice to see you. <laughs> Howdy, Eric. How are you doing? Welcome, Van. Welcome, everybody. I sent in a trouble ticket. Hopefully, they'll fix the um, fix TikTok so that uh, when people send out invites, uh, that they actually can come in. Addy Mark, nice to see you. Um, ho, ho, ho. Nope. And wrong guy. Santa lives up at the North Pole. He gives you toys. I don't. I teach you how to make you toys. Oh, I'm going to Florida tomorrow. Nice. What part of Florida? I'm uh, a bit too. I'm from Washington State, USA. Jeez, wow, that's not bad, Mark. <laughs> we figured a million. Oh, thank you, Callum. Thank you for the heart, me. A, -A K I Akari uh, Dickerson. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays only on Dagwoods. Uh, no, Mike, never lived in Arkansas. Hi, chicken boy. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, well, you better you better make sure Santa finds out about it, cause it doesn't do me any good. Anne Marie Islands, wow, that's a group. Uh, since you uh, can't figure it out, Bitu, you're not my friend. It's going good, Napkin. Thank you very much. Oh, that's good. Awesome, Magpie. I hope you make... Uh, what? Matter of fact, what kind of dag would you make a Magpie? <laughs> Hi, Jelly Bean. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Sure, grandkid. What well, what do you need to know? I know, Pricey. You know, some some two year olds don't learn. A hey, Philippines. It's neither Palestine or Israel. We need to save humanity. Okay, because the whole thing with this whole war garbage, it only hurts innocent people. We need to stop it. Hi, Daniel. Nice to see you. Um, woof. <laughs> Anthony, I went to three county fairs. Oh, thank you, Aaron, very much for the lightning. I went to three county fairs in the state of Washington with my paper art. And uh, I won every ribbon at all three fairs, and I have 20 ribbons. Absolutely, Michelle. We need to start saving the human race, you guys. We need to stop picking sides. That's just ridiculous. And if you got to ask what side to pick, you're on the wrong side already. We got to quit picking sides. We need to pick the human race. Thank you, Philippines, very much. Shaw Ford <laughs> found our road dead. Oh, no. Fixed on race day. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those are Ford slaps that we learned when we were kids.
Well, welcome, grandson or grandkid. I'm not sure. I can't say grandson or daughter because I don't know. But grand human, grandkid human. <laughs> welcome to the phone show. I new rule. Nice to see you. Turkey salami, mayo cheese, blackberry jam, lettuce, tomato, avocado, and apple slices. Boy, magpie, that's an awesome sandwich. That's a dagwood. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Ray. <laughs> Oh, no, Anthony, I hope not. Doggone it, it's got to stop. We need to stop this. Don't keep adding people to it. Sun and moon and stars, and number one always. <laughs> Crazy, thanks. Uh, yes, Ace Lee, I do. And I sure hope that they come here this year and live with us because maybe they can change this war garbage. But absolutely, I think we're on other planets as well. Hi, Abraham. Nice to see you. Kenya's in. Thank you, Hilda. Nice to see you. Hi, Logan. How are you doing? Oh, geez. Well, Anthony, doggone it. We need to pray, you guys, to every God you know in name to stop this insanity. Appleton, Wisconsin. I was in Appleton, Minnesota. <laughs> I know of it. Hi, Jack. Well, uh, ho, 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 nothing's up because Santa's not here. <laughs> a sun and moon stars are number one always. I bought, nice to see you, grandkid. Star Wars, A New Hope, 1977. Palladius, P L E I A D E S, Palladius. I don't know. Uh, the Sirius system, Dog Star, uh, up there. That's a good one. The Anunnaki uh, brought us here from somewhere, I'm pretty sure. St. Louis, nice to see you. Washington State. Verona, Wisconsin, nice. But I like the Palestinian people because they're human beings. We need to stop picking sides. We've got to quit this horse manure. It's wrong. Massachusetts, Logan, nice to see you. I'm doing good, foosball. <laughs> foosball, yes. Oh, salon and salami? Is that salami? <laughs> salami, I don't know. Hi, Wolf. Nice to see you. Well, Anthony, I approve of the Anunnaki. Welcome. Well, Clorox, if the Red Green Show made paper toys, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Wolf, I get it. Ah, uh, Papa Joe, yes, indeed. Uh, Andre, no, you can't. I don't think you have enough money. I taught myself, Lance, how to do this art. It's my hobby. Well, Magpie, I <laughs> I, I would have to go with the one that I had not long ago uh, with the um, lime wedges, uh, lime slices in it. Very it's super good sandwich. Uh, thank you, Pricey, very much. I appreciate that. The 810 tutorial. Nice one, Pricey. That's awesome news. Very, very cool. Uh, Mark is absolutely right. And so, yes, Lance, 
I taught myself. First piece, January 19 or 2010. January 2010. This was my first piece. And uh, paper, Elmer's glue, and acrylic paint. Very tough stuff. Well, how's the tractor looking? I'm getting, I'm attaching the three-point hitch to it now. I've got to figure out how to make that because that's got all got to be enclosed and ready to go. Rogue One was very good for another movie, past tense. But yeah, I liked Rogue One too. Favorite character actually comes out of Rogue One, K2SO. I'm good, Harry. Thank you. I hope you're doing well also. Well, Dot, <laughs> you were, oh, wait a minute, might be the other Dot. Dot was in yesterday. Uh, thank you, Tambo. It is, the tractor build is coming along nicely. Uh, these are the twin hooks uh, that I'm going to make for hooking up the attachments. And uh, the, the three-point hitch is going to come out here. And so... Uh, well, Thomas, um, you should already have a three-point hitch on your tractor, and if you don't have one, uh, you can't put one on it. They come absolutely attached into the differential and, and chassis part of the rear end. Uh, the thing I was sanding on down at the last show... Uh, was uh, this body piece right here and uh, I just uh, I just put some uh, primer on this thing and so what I have to do after this is I have to let it dry completely uh, so that I can go ahead and paint the back of it and sand it down and get it ready for uh, the finished coat of green because it goes down under here is where it's going Now, this, this thing won't stand up, uh, so I just add an extra one of these, and then I it'll stand where I want it to. Uh, this, 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 Anthony, this is the same one. No, there, there is no new one. There will not be another one unless somebody pays me a lot of money to make one. These are taking way too long. It's one of those kind of builds that's, geez. Um, but right now what I'm working on is a three-point hitch for it. Well... Well, the, the thing is, um, the the Grogu is of Yoda's race. And so, very interesting how they uh, come up around. Uh, how did I make the tires, Alex? I used construction paper. Cut them into, uh, once I got the rims built, I cut them to width. And then glued 14 layers of this stuff. Aaron, every one of them still exists. I'm not sure about the one in Appleton, Minnesota, though. Sun and moon and stars, always. Paper and cardstock. Yeah. Uh, the cardstock, like what you would make a greeting card from. Uh, Pepsi boxes, cereal boxes, stuff like that. Ah, Slim Shady. Nice to see you, Slim. How are you doing? Thank you, Honey Bunny, for the necklaces. Oh, my goodness sakes. Thank you, sweetheart.
Yeah. Hey, John. I'm working on the three-point hitch today. I'm doing good, Slim. Thank you very much. How's your family doing? Uh, well, uh, Anthony, I'll let you be the judge of that. I'll show you something. Right here. Um, a lot of people watched me build this. This is the A-10 Warthog. Uh, burp gun, it, it works. The wheels spin. The turbines spin. All right, now this was made out of a cracker box. Okay. I teach you how to build structurally correct. With these things being structurally correct, if you do manage to break them, they're paper. You just glue it back together. <clears throat> and uh, I've had them broke. I broke stuff. And I've glued everything back together. It's, it works really good. Oh, I'm going to close in the cab. You just can't work on it. You can't work on that stuff till you get to it. And right now I have to do all the undercarriage and the chassis work and the three-point hitch before I can start building upward. So, I'm doing good, Flash. Thank you very much. It does, uh, Alpha Wolf. It's a John Deere, yellow and green. So, yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Stephen. All right. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> nice to see you. I'm going to try, uh, Lord. Matter of fact, um, I better drink some of this while I'm here. This bottle right here is the right kind of hard plastic that will actually make the windows. So I may have to go get me some Simply Lemonade <laughs> so I can cut it up. This is my water bottle. And, uh, but then I can, uh, cut it up and I'll make the glass out of a Simply Lemonade, uh, recycle. Well, Aaron, uh, it, it does roll. Uh, absolutely. Well, since I don't drink Tor, no, it's real water. Comes out of the well. Oh, thank you, honey bunny. For the starlight compass. I'll always know which way is home. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi, Gertz. Hi, Bot. Nice to see you. Uh, Ram Ram? Oh! I'm doing good. Thank you. I hope you're well. Fra Frank's from Africa. Welcome to the phone show, Frank. Hi, Lawrence. How are you doing? <laughs> Still? That's good news. <clears throat> Oh, geez, Bob, that would be cool. Yeah. I've, uh, I want to see that, uh, what's it called? Something moon. Pirate moon? No, nah, that don't sound right. On Netflix. It's on Netflix. Man, um, I started watching it. It looks like it's really good. Oh, thank you, Frank. Very much. I hope you start learning how to build paper toys. Oh, thank you, honey bunny. <laughs> well, Slim, it's never too late to never stop learning. Oh, that's good, Devin. Devin has a younger brother. Rebel Moon. Thank you, Van. That's it, Rebel Moon. 
Thank you, Honey Bunny, for the support. And thank you all very much. And you guys, um, the only way we can get people now in the show is from the For You page by all y'all putting likes up because you can't share me with others because it goes nowhere. We found that out and I'm trying to get it fixed. I believe it's not fixed yet. Uh, Frank, I use uh, a machinist steel rule. Uh, any ruler will work, but this is the one I use more than anything. You need a 5-0 mechanical pencil because you got to draw a lot. You need a good pair of scissors. You need Elmer's glue or any kind of paper glue, school glue, Elmer's glue, PVA glue, wood glue works. It's made for paper, works great. And I use acrylic paints, all right? I have a lot of them, but that's the, what I paint with. And I just paint with little brushes, all right? I have a whole lot of different little brushes. I keep them very clean so I don't uh, go through them very often. And then you just need some paper out of your kitchen. Any kind of cardstock that you can get from a grocery store or a market that has uh, instant rice in it or cereal, Pepsi, Coke, doesn't matter. That's it. And then you can take my tutorials here on YouTube and start learning how to build. Yeah, I drink milk every day. All right, Van, I just put the trouble ticket in this morning. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tattoos. Wow, the General Lee, 1982, that's cool. Yeah, and the cool thing is, um, this whole tractor, if I count every part and all the stuff that I had to do to make it, this whole tractor cost so far probably two bucks. I know, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, uh, Van. Well, we'll keep testing it till we get it fixed. Hi, Em. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Lawrence. Thank you very much for keeping that quiet. Hi, FX. Welcome to the show. Hi, Philippines. Welcome back. Uh, because I screwed up the paint, Vader, and I had to fix it. Hi, Maya. Welcome to the show. Oh, FX, I'm 70. And welcome to my show, Maya. Hi, Z. Nice to see you again. And thank you, guys. Mark, Dylan, <laughs> thank you very much. You bet, grandkid. Howdy, Jay. Uh-oh, Jay's in, you guys. Daily showing. Uh, Lucille. I got that, Lawrence, the first time. Thank you again. Godzilla, nice to see you. Well, it's just the gray here, Eric. Hi, Ashley. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> Absolutely, Jay. <clears throat> um, what box are you talking about? Uh, Dark Vader.
Oh, that's good, Z. Awesome news. Um, this was a this was a commission build. A a FX. Hi, Jedi Dunn. Nice to see you. Oh yeah, upper arm. Yeah, I'm doing good, dog. Thank you very much. I hope you and your family are well. Yeah, this is a commission build. Howdy, Malcolm. Nice to see you. From Algiers? Oh, that's cool. Nadai? I hope I got your name close to right. Pepsi box? Oh, yes. It's sanded. Because the glue won't stick, even though this is biodegradable paper. If you glue your parts and they have to flex at all, they'll pop apart. So I sand them gently, and that lets this, the glue attach better, and it doesn't come apart. West Virginia's in. Howdy, Michael. Guess what? That's what. How you doing, guess? Nice to see you. Hi, Marcy. Thank you, Antonio. Claire? A shout out for Claire? <laughs> okay, Jack. Name a character for an edit. K2SO. I'm doing good, Michael. Thank you very much. I hope you and your family are well. Uh, Dagwood's uh, major only sat uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Not Saturdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the Dagwoods. Hi, Lukey. Oh, thank you, David, for the peanut. Oh, it's not. It's a corn. <laughs> Well, tell, I can't understand it. Let me see if I can translate that. Translate that. Wow, tell, I didn't know that. Uh, Marcy, I started with this very first project January of 2010. So I'm now into my 15th year of building with over 20,000 hours experience. Uh, travel? Uh, yes, Frank. I, I sell them. If you want to buy a tractor like this, it's $2,000. I take half up front and half on completion. Uh, thank you very much. This is a heavy shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Atlanta. Nice to see you, Charles. Welcome to my show. Hi, Troll. I'm doing good, my friend. Thank you very much. Nice to see you again today. Emma? Hi, Emma. <laughs> Your grandma's cookies today. Uh, wonderful news. Happy Friday, Aaron. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, yeah, Ryder. Absolutely. Oh, hi. Hi, Cupcake. What? You want in? Decide to come visit, did you? Well, you got some food down there. Just munch away and then climb up on your perch and go to sleep. And so, this is the tractor. If anybody wants one of these, they're 2K. I'm doing good, Jenny. Or maybe it's Jeannie. No, I think it's Jenny. J-E-N-N-I-E. -E, Jenny? Yeah, I think so. Oh, <laughs> Casey. <laughs> How do you do? Nice to see you. Uh, thank you, uh, Grandma's Cookies. Yeah, Cupcake is cute. 
Ah, uh, Troll, I'm doing very good. Thank you. Uh, St Stahl? I started making paper toys in January of 2010. Uh, Dagwoods, uh, Joshua, are Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'm good, Shake. Thank you very much. Hi, Noah. Nice to see you. You bet, troll. Thank you. Thank you, Rose, very much. Uh, me too, Anna. Nice to see you. Hi, Dean. Welcome back, Celine. Hi, Console. Nice to meet you. Well, I can't translate that, so I don't know what they said. All right, David. I'll be back Monday, same time. Thank you, Biggie, for the Rosa. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you for your support. And thank all of you on YouTube for your help for putting money on my Cash App and Venmo. I appreciate it a lot. It helps me pay my rent here. Same with you, TikTokers. Thank you for the roses and all the gifts. They do make a difference in my rent because it is tough to pay sometimes. Oh, the, <laughs> howdy, Maverick. <laughs> oh, nice dog. That's cool, Jay. Uh, that, is, that is absolutely amazing. You bet, David. Wait a minute. Alexander, um, uh, you want a muscle car for the edit. How about, let me see. How about a Pontiac Superbird? Uh, Vareen, that's a no. Yeah, Autumn, I remember you. You're the only Autumn in both shows. <laughs> well, that's amazing, uh, Jay. I get along with uh, dogs and cats equally well. I, I got a story for you all. All right, this was, uh, this was many years ago. And um, I went over to a, uh, my best friend's house out of high school. And there was a party at, at a neighbor's house. And we went to that party. And uh, I don't know anybody other than uh, uh, Chuck and, and Teresa. And uh, so I sit down and, and I'm just uh, listening to the party go on. And a cat comes over and climbs up in my lap, rolls around. I start petting him, goes right to sleep. And I notice the lady of the house. I, I, every once in a while, I look over in her direction, and she's staring at me. And so I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. And so the, finally, the party winds down, and the only people that are left are me and Chuck and Teresa. And they're in uh, talking to uh, the husband in the front room, or not in the front room, but in the kitchen. And the gal comes over and sits down next to me and starts petting the cat. And she goes, I'm absolutely stunned. And I said, why? She said, because whenever we have company over, the cat hides under the fridge and doesn't come out till the company's gone. This is the first time she has ever, ever done anything, let alone climb up on a stranger. She was uh, amazed. But animals like me. And uh, people like me too, <laughs> but I'm very good with critters. Um, iron, I want to call you Iron. Iron from Babylon. Oh, that's cool. Well, Iron, uh, the best thing, uh, biggest thing, best thing that I've got is the Star Destroyer. All right, this is my biggest piece. Okay, and it's it it might be three pounds, but I I don't know. 
I'd have to get some scales weighed. I have no idea. But it is over 11,000 pieces. Thank you, honey bunny, very much. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> and thank you, Maverick. Yeah. Yeah, cats are, cats know too. They, they pick character, cats and dogs pick characters better than we do. They know if somebody's right or wrong. And so, yep, that, that's crazy. But yes, uh, thank you. The Star Destroyer is fantastic. Uh, thank you, uh, Filthy and Iron. Thank you very much. That, yes, the Star Destroyer is incredible. Captain Deadpool. Nice one. <laughs> Vietnam vets. Yep. Uh, thank you, Troll. Very much. I appreciate that. That's cool. Uh, I wanted to call you Chatty Kathy. <laughs> thank you, Autumn. Very much. Uh, filthy, so far my day has been incredibly well. Oh, like Top Gun? That's cool, Jay. <laughs> uh, smallest project ever, uh, Romax, is... Uh, this little teeny tiny tantiv I got right over here. Uh, this one right here. Uh, the smallest piece in my arsenal of ships. Uh-huh. And uh, it's teeny tiny tantiv like that uh, because it got trapped by a Star Destroyer just like that. That's cool, Van. That's very cool. Uh, it's Darth Vader's Star Destroyer. Absolutely. I also have Darth Vader's uh, TIE Fighter. And uh, I have the Emperor's Star Destroyer as well. I mean the Emperor's uh, Death Star. That was the smallest. And so, a uh, Death Star made out of recycled paper. Very cool build. Uh, well, Nano, that's not hard to do. They've been building paper ships in box for years. So, yeah, that's not hard to do. I just don't have time to do something like that. Well, Troll... Best thing to do, learn my art, my hobby here on uh, YouTube, and you're going to have to make it. Thank you, Chatty, very much. Um, what is what is my uh, country name? Well, I'm Michael, the paper engineer from Washington State, USA. And I believe that the humans of this world need to band together and stop all this stupid fighting by our governments and uh, people in power. They're wrong. What they're doing is wrong. The war over there in Palestine, Israel, Iraq, doesn't matter where it is. It's wrong. Russia, wrong. France is joining in, I heard. Wrong. It's all wrong. Innocent people are the ones that are hurt. Oh, uh, well, a bee rabbit, we talk. I show people about how they can make paper toys from recycled paper out of their house. And uh, I try not to get political and I try not to get religious. Uh, and I show things off. I've been making paper toys since my very first one that I made, January 2010. And I now can make 
basically anything out of paper. Yes, those wheels and tires, they're all paper. Uh, thank you, Collective Genius, <laughs> very much. Thank you, Trash. Have you been to my YouTube site yet, Trash, the paper engineer? Well, unfortunately, Pixels, I'm in the USA. I know, Aaron. I It has. And um, unfortunately, I, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know. But we have to talk more. The people have to be willing to forget the past and look to the future. Yeah, Trash Fire. Um, I, I have tutorials over there like uh, building these snow speeders. And once you start learning uh, my hobby, uh, there is no end to what you can do. And that is absolutely no end to it. Now, the students that I have all over the world have got an opportunity to do better things than me. In other words, they could make this a remote control. I can't do that don't know the technology to do it but the techniques of how to build it that's what you need to learn this is the concept tank on YouTube teaches you chassis work so you can build tanks and trucks and stuff oh no worries pixel Uh, Alpha and Omega. I'm working today on two projects. Uh, JRB Farms' tractor. I'm putting the three-point hitch in it right now. And the snow speeders. So, yeah, that's what I'm working on. And uh, so far, I've got over... I think I have it right down here. No, that's the wrong one. Wrong notebook. It must be this notebook over here. No, it's this one over here. I think. Anyway, one of these uh, little notebooks I got. I've got all this, all of the um, stuff on this tractor that I'm working on. Ah, here it is. Right here. Now, not counting today or yesterday because I put in time yesterday. I've got... 76 hours, almost 80 hours build time uh, on this tractor and uh, a lot of parts. So anyway, it's one of those things that uh, you have to pay attention a, <laughs> a lot on what you're doing. Because um, I have put parts on these and then I've had to cut them down and change them because the parts that I put on did not fit properly. Hi, Jake. Nice to see you. I, I know, Dark Vader. It does kind of look like a bowling ball. A duck pin bowling ball. Yeah. It rolls like one, too. Thank you, John. Very much. Hi, military. Welcome to the phone show. Thank you, troll. Thank you, Amanda, very much for your help. All right, Eric. <laughs> you bet. And so, anyway, this is it. Um, I still figure I got another, you know, 70 hours worth of build time to put this in to make it right. How you doing, military? Nice to see you. Hi, John. Now, is that the... That, are you John from the Homer Simpson crew? You know, John Doe? <laughs> oh, no. It does not open up. Uh, pixels. 
This is a cool thing. I cut paper. <laughs> paper don't cut me. And to be truthful, I have never in 15 years of building ever had a paper cut. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, yeah. Yeah, MILFs. Uh, take a screenshot of it. You can see the paper that I built it with. Hi, Aviation. Welcome back. Thank you, Pixels. Uh, I learned how to make rubber out of uh, uh, the black paper. is a construction paper. Then when you sand it down and you cut the grooves in with a Dremel tool, it makes it look like real rubber. Thank you, Monkey. <laughs> Welcome, Joe Rambo. Uh, yeah, I like John Deere. Uh, my dad had an international and a case and a John Deere. Actually, we ended up with two John Deeres after we got rid of the case and the backhoe. Uh, that was international. So, but yeah. Uh, Dark Vader, uh, sometimes it is hard to make things fit. And you have to cut them down and make new ones. Sometimes you have to tear the old parts out and make a new part because it didn't fit close enough uh, to make it work. Donald, nice to see you. I, I could pixel, but I don't have time to do that. I've got too much stuff going on right now. There's just no way I could do that. That's a five-year build. Hi, that girl. Nice to see you. Thank you, John. I'm Martinez from Kenya. Welcome to my phone show. I'm military. My day's going good. I've been working on the tractor um, and uh, just getting a lot of stuff done. And so it's, yeah, I've had a very good day. I hope yours as well. Hi, uh, Karina. I do. Hi, SoCal. Nice to see you. Yeah, Pixel. And because when I build something, I build a replica of whatever I'm building as close to what it actually is as absolutely possible. I'm meticulous with what I do. And because I have the dedication and that, I understand how long it takes to do a lot of stuff because I've been building for 15 years. I have 20,000 hours build experience. And so I know how long it takes. So far, uh, the tractor has been two months worth of build time. Over 76 uh, hours that I put into this so far. And it's about half done. I reached a goal again. Oh, that's cool, Van. Oh, man. How do I set a new goal? Uh, no, that's not it. There it is up there. Wow. Set a new goal. All right. Let's... Uh, friendship necklaces. Let's, uh, let's, let's edit that. Let's see what we got. Let's go with tiny dinies. And uh, let's go with 20 of those. Confirm. 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 Okay. Wow. Wow, you guys. I'm getting better at that stuff. Uh, Karina, how many times would you like me to answer that? Uh, 
Hi, Martin. How you doing, grandkid? Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Amanda, how is Jack today? I hope he's well. My day is going good, Maria. I'm simulcast. Oh, thank you, Mo, for the tiny diny. <laughs> I'm simulcast over on YouTube, and I'm simulcast on TikTok, you guys. So I'm paying attention to chat on two places. That's right, Karina. I, yeah, I, I know. Hi, Trevor. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, Goober. It is looking very good. Um, here's the... Uh-oh. Uh hey, don't be hung up now. Uh, this is the undercarriage piece. Now, what this is, is this is going to go in here, like so, and down in there. That is the underside of the chassis. I have to detail it out and make it look right. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's what's going on with it right now. And so um, when the show is over, then I'm going to paint this end green. And uh, it'll be uh, ready to at attach. And so uh, attaching this thing, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting process. But as you can see, this is seven layers of paper glued together. So this is going to add strength to the chassis, the tractor, a lot of it. And yeah. Uh, Karina, I'm doing very well. I hope you're good also. Oh, okay, Amanda. All right, Mo. My suggestion, Mo, is to make four-inch ones. Make at least three four-inch ones, okay? Because what that'll do is, as you're building it, you might find a, a better way to cut the parts on number three and four you know, before you glue them in. And so your third, fourth, or fifth one um, will always be your best. And... As you're letting the first piece dry, you work on the second one, and then the third one, the fourth one, so on. Oh, yes, Maria, I do remember you. You still have the little face of the kitty. Welcome back, Maria. Nice to see you. Thank you, Aaron, for the tiny dinies and the lightning bolt. Trolls roll. Just like bowling balls, right on out of our show into somebody else's. Ah, uh, yes, SoCal. There is a lot of work uh, when you want to do something that looks this good. All right, you can you can slap stuff together and get it painted. Nah, that's fine too. But if you want museum quality work, then you do have to take the time uh, to put into stuff to make it. One of a kind. But I'm kind of finicky like that. My dad used to beat me a lot. <laughs> okay. And so I tried to be perfect in, with what I do. And so unfortunately, it made me the meticulous, I guess you could call it, geez, I don't even know what to call it, attention freak <laughs> that I am. It's like making the return lines on the hydraulics to make them look right. It's like using Q-tips to make the actuation for the hydraulics. And so, you bet, Mo. It's because uh, making an F4, a Phantom, the flying brick, as it was called in Vietnam, um... If you try to just make a large model, you won't you won't understand how the paper works as well. But by making, you know, and honestly, when I build something like the Daleks, I made five of them. Okay, because as the first one's drying, I'm working all the way down line to number five. And I might have uh, figured out 
that I, by cutting the paper a little bit different on number five, a part looked better. And so that's exactly what you can do. Batman. Nice to see you, Philadelphia Batman. Welcome to the show. Absolutely, Amanda. Oh, thank you, Maria, for the roses. And how are you, Maria? How have you been doing? You bet, Mo. And you know, I do a show five days a week. You can come in and ask me questions. Thank you, Maria, for the roses. How you doing, Batman? Um, I hope crime fighting is not taking a toll on your body. Hi, someone. Uh, I hope you're not a troll. Oh, Aaron, <laughs> nice transport. You made it in one piece. Oh, wow. Hey, everybody. Batman's show tonight is going to have uh, Captain Jack Sparrow on him. Uh, Batman, I'm simulcast on YouTube as well. Hi, uh, hi, Roman Legion. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. How are you doing? I can't even tell what you are. H e i o, he o. Huh. Hi, Luke. Oh, I'm glad, Luke. Lord bless you. Up, ah, someone got rolled. Oh, that's good, Batman. I'm glad you're fine. Thanks, Maria. I'm glad you're doing well. I hope your family's doing good, too. Eight to midnight, Batman. That's good, Batman. Oh, that's awesome, Trip. You have to send me a picture. <laughs> yeah, it might be a bit... It's, it's too late, Batman, for most of my European people. Unless they get up really early in the morning. You bet, Philadelphia. Have a great show tonight. Uh, yes, Roman Legionnaire, it is, but it's too expensive for people. And so, and, um, you know, it, it is. But yeah, it is uh, a piece that's for sale. Uh, Karina, a uh, class? You mean like, do I have a class or something? Because I don't understand. Day's been going good, Batman. Thank you very much. Uh, my hand is healed up from when I broke it. And so it's doing okay. Uh, my finger's not lined up right, but that's the way it goes for 70 and you break something, it doesn't always go back together right. But other than that, uh, I should have, uh, uh, Joe and I should have the mower fixed tomorrow so I can I get mowing done this weekend. And uh, a guard's in, I planted more seed, and um, got to keep the birds out of it, though. Doggone birds. It's going good, uh, C Caleb. Yeah, it is. Salute, Batman. Hi, Margaret. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my phone show. Ah, uh, Mickle. It is. 
Nice to see you too. I hope you're well and I hope your family's doing good. <laughs> I probably don't need to, Dill. <laughs> Talk on it. <laughs> you bet, Batman. Take care. Well, I have an outside cat, Mountain Man, but she's got 17 acres to patrol. I think I'm going to get me bird netting for next year and just hang it around the outside of the garden. That will fix their day. Of course, I'll have to go out there every morning and probably let a bunch of them loose. <laughs> I don't mean to get bit. All right, Jay. That's a good idea, and I've heard that from a lot of different people. I'm going to have to get me an owl. I think they sell them at Tractor Supply. Batman out. Paper Engineer out, Batman. Take care. All right, Maria. Good night, young lady. Sleep well. Hi, Mountain Man. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, Alpha Wolf, I did see that too. And so it's one of those kind of things I just have to be able to afford to do it. And so it's waiting on stuff. But yeah, the Garden Goober is doing very nicely so far, but I've only got two types of plants up. Um, got uh, Icicle Radish and I've got um, Regular Radish up. Uh, and I do need to plant a couple more rows of regular radish. That's something I do need to do. Cotton Eye Joe, welcome to my show. Well, I said, I don't have time to do math. I'm doing good, Chris. I hope you're well. Hi, Vex. Nice to see you again. Soup. Hi, Soup. Nice to see you. Hi, Pooh. I know, Pooh. But here's the cool thing. If they're that smart enough to, to build that kind of stuff, maybe they'll have gravity control. Uh, so that if you start getting out of shape, it'll take over. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Soup. Thank you very much. Hi, Stubbs. I said, life's been good. Thank you very much. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Virus. Welcome to the show. I-77. Nice to see you. Star Wars, 77. I got out of the Navy, 77. Des is from India. Welcome to the show. That's good, Chris. Well, Pooh, you keep working on it because we'll be able to figure that out. IRB, welcome to my phone show, you guys. Nice to see you. Thanks for helping me with my watch hours. Oh, not much, Rival. I've been uh, working on this John Deere tractor. It's a commission build. This is going to be the undercarriage of it right here. And uh, parts of it, anyway. And so, yeah, it's one of those things that takes a lot of work to be able to build something from scratch. Well, 77, I'm from uh, Washington State, USA. Hi, Skyline. Doing well, thanks. Hello, Knight. Nice to see you. I know, Pooh. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hugo. Welcome to the show. 
Uh, the undercarriage, this is it going in right there. It'll, it'll attach to the, uh, uh, the drive system and it'll be under here. Well, uh, go Huskies, go Cougars, Seahawks, yay. <laughs> I don't watch sports anymore. I don't have a TV. Uh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking good what I got done so far. Oh, that's too bad, Bile. This is all you get. Wait a second. There's an undercarriage right here, too. How about that one? Ah, cool, Pooh. Ah, number one can help. <laughs> it's okay, Pooh. That'll happen. Uh, thank you, Rival, very much. I try to be. Uh, I don't want to be, you know, a fathead or anything like that. That's That just takes up air. Hi, Brittany. It's doing very well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ram. Very much for your uh, following me and subscribing. Well, Goober, it does take time to return around once once you're down. Uh, Mickle, everything that I use comes out of my kitchen for free. All right, uh, cracker boxes, cereal boxes work. Um, soda boxes. If it comes in a box in your kitchen, um, it doesn't matter what kind of box it is. It's all buildable. That's the cool thing. So then you need some Elmer's glue. You can get this at the dollar store for a buck and a half. And acrylic paint on Amazon's 58 cents. Well, Pooh, if you're in the military, <laughs> they do that stuff for free. <laughs> I know, because I had four wisdom teeth pulled, and uh, yeah. Show them strength of the toys. I can absolutely do that. All right. It, okay, this is, I teach you how to build a superstructure inside them. All right, because I teach you how to build a superstructure, these things can be played with. All right. A10 Warthog made out of a cracker box. Very, very strong. Because you build properly when you learn my techniques. You bet, Oliver. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you, Molly. <laughs> thank you very much. Molly says, I got to wear shades. <laughs> I am grim. Well, um, grim, the best way uh, on family betrayal is that it's family. They have to be cut some slack. So you forgive them, but you don't forget so that you don't get caught in that situation ever again. <laughs> Thank you, Molly, very much. Well, yeah, you can, because it doesn't matter. I use a machine of steel rule. It's six inches, all right? This piece is a commission build. It's exactly six inches long. Well, not quite. Well, after I put the, after I put the attachments to it, yeah, it probably will be six inches. And so, uh, scale-wise, though, you don't need a scale. All you need to do is have a picture and build it from a picture. And you pick the size you want. Bros? Square soccer balls? Are you kidding me? Bros, square soccer's won't go nowhere. <laughs> uh, furry? In about 45 minutes, the show will be over. You bet, Grim. It's the best advice I can give you for that. 
because whenever you're betrayed, it doesn't matter by whom, um, it takes a long time to get over that. But the thing is, look towards your future. Don't worry about what's past you. You can't fix it. You can't change it. It happened. And so you look towards the future and you make your future better for you. Oh, it's going good, Michael. Hi, FBI guy. Nice to see you. You bet, Mickle. I try to do my bet. Now, Mickle, uh, mind you, I got 35 people over on TikTok and, and I got over 17 here on YouTube. I try to answer everybody on both channels. Sometimes it's tough. Uh, yeah, Goober, pretty much. Absolutely. Hot Cheetos? <laughs> nice one, FBI. Hope you got milk. You bet, Grim. And I hope that it helps you out. I really do. I've had a lot of problems in my lifetime. And betrayal is also part of it. And um, so I do have a little bit of um, wisdom with that. Take what you can use out of it. The rest of it, don't worry. And, and Lord Invoker is absolutely correct. Um, I've got some fantastic family people on my shows. I love you all very much. You're good human beings. Yeah, Goober's right. <laughs> Absolutely, Goober. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, that's cool, Collections. Yeah, I'll have to check it out, too. Thank you for the gummy bears, Molly, very much. And thank you all for your support. It helps me out a lot. And I want to thank you, uh, YouTubers, uh, for tossing up dollars and stuff over on my uh, Cash App. Thank you. It, it helps me so much. You don't even know. Uh, yes, Goober. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Molly, for the puffy hearts. I, uh, I worked in the sheet metal industry with my mom and dad's business many, many moons ago. And uh, we used cardboard for uh, templates as well. Oh, yeah, Beast. I like tacos. I like the hard-shelled ones better. Uh, they're my favorite. Hi, Anthony. Nice to see you. Uh, thank you, honey bunny. And thank God it is Friday. I, I only got, I got about 50, 45 minutes on the show today to do. Then I got to go out to the garden and mess around. And uh, then I got to come back and work on this tractor some more. <laughs> And then I got another show, and I get the weekend off. Captain Zach. I remember Zach Aviation. Is that you? Thank you, sweetheart, for the tiny dinies. What? Are you... Oh, the connection's bad, you guys. Howdy, Ryan. Nice to see you. Oh, Mickle, I got I got 15 different things growing. All right, corn and sunflowers and uh, pole beans and sweet peas and bush beans and uh, radishes and carrots, zucchini, summer squash, acorn squash, um, oops, excuse me, strawberries, garlic, um, you know, collards, uh, broccoli, shoot. I grow as much of everything as I can. <laughs> Thank you, Goober. Yes, two kinds, icicle radish and red ones. Well, Captain, welcome back. 
uh, Anthony, uh, Pink Floyd, and Led Zeppelin are both outstanding. I, I can see that, Captain. But uh, tell you what, Zach. I'm going to call you Captain Zach. Welcome aboard. No, Anthony. I can't pick one. Sorry. it's I don't do stuff like that. I like them both. Because my favorite, my favorite band of everyone is ZZ Top. That's the only one I can pick. Uh, no, Ryan, not since last summer. I haven't had any county fairs to go to yet. Hi, Yime. Nice to see you. And I want to thank all you guys for your help over there on YouTube. Mark, Dylan, Goober, <laughs> and everyone else as well. Wolf, you too. Thank you all for your help, you guys. Uh, Molly, the next sandwich will be Tuesday at 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. Basically two hours earlier than right now. Uh, Tuesday. Um, oh, geez. Spaghetti's really good. Have you ever had spaghetti fried? Uh, but I'd have to stick with the lasagna, Anthony. Yeah, Ryan. Absolutely. We got a lot of folks over there on uh, YouTube right now, Ryan. Uh, no, Roblix. I cannot. Uh, no, Zach. Uh-uh. Yes, and it's lasagna is really good. <laughs> oh, Gongjo. Thank you, Gongjo. Very much. That was very cool. Uh, Anthony, who built the pyramids? <laughs> the aliens built them. Uh, well, uh, Zach, yes and no. Like, I've had hundreds, literally hundreds of people want me to build Warhammer. And so, after the DeLorean, and I had hundreds of people ask me for the DeLorean. And so, this build is a commission build. It's the first thing I do. These are also being built. They're commission builds. Then I have to do the DeLorean. After the DeLorean, I have Warhammer. And so I don't, I don't pick stuff for myself very rarely. After Warhammer, I think I am going to pick one for me. Uh, Mickle, the hollow moon theory is, uh, I, I'm willing to bet, is a fact. And what do I know about it? Uh, I called MUFON back in 2009, and I told them that I met a NASA uh, engineer that worked on the Apollo missions. They crashed a lander into the moon on purpose, and it rang like a bell for four hours, 45 minutes. I told that to MUFON, sent him a letter about it. MUFON got in touch with ancient aliens, and they talked about the hollow moon. So, absolutely, I believe the moon is a space station. Uh, Jedi Dunn, what paper stock built the... What? What Jedi Dunn? The pyramids? <laughs> uh, papyrus. Uh, no, Seth, I'm from Washington State, USA. Uh, yeah, Zach, I could. I just don't have the time to do it. Yeah, it is fact, Mickle. I know it is. This guy was like 85 years old. And uh, he was telling me all about this cool stuff of NASA. <laughs> all righty. And he had no reason to lie to me. He's on his way out. <laughs> and so, wow. Yep. 
Thank you, Booper. Very much. Uh, yeah. And that is, what is that? Kel? X? XL? <laughs> XL? <laughs> yeah. Um, I teach you how to build toys from recycled paper out of your kitchen. Yeah. Uh, this one here, I built this A10 out of a cracker box. Only used two-thirds of it to make the whole thing. Oh, hellscape. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me. <laughs> Welcome to my phone show, by the way. And uh, this stuff is super strong. All right. I teach you how to build a structurally correct. Um... Jay's Anthony, um, a baked potato is really, really good with, um, you know, cheese and bacon bits and sour cream. And if I'm having roast and uh, gravy, I need mashed potatoes. Hi, Craig. <laughs> oh, it's Craigie. Hi, Craigie. I'm not going to do it. Done. No, no, no. I know they do, Brooklyn. They do look like rubber. And people watch me build these, you guys. Made out of paper. I already made a helicopter. It was a commission. My first commission piece was a Huey. It went to Canada. Would you all like to see the Star Destroyer? It is kind of impressive. <laughs> it's, uh, it's over 11,390 pieces. No. Nah. That's cool, Trip. Nice. Uh, well, um, I don't know what to tell you, Jedi. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi, Pulsar. <laughs> Thank you very much. It, it, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's 33 or 32 inches long and over 11,390 pieces of paper. Uh, and it uh, the whole build is hollow, all right? And so, which really makes it cool. And uh, because I built a superstructure inside. Hi, Jack. Nice to see you. Welcome back, Jack. This took 536 hours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, y y what you smoking, Anthony? Hi, Jaheed. Welcome to the show, grandkid. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Hellscape. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good at building stuff. And I'm pretty good at teaching it, too. Because I got people that are building uh, paper toys and stuff all over the world now. It's fantastic. Matter of fact, Trip is over here. Been doing Moya from Farscape. Thank you, Ashley, very much. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, Pulsar. I, I think so, too. I'm going to get recognition, you guys. It's coming. I have no idea, Woody. Uh, I think it was the very top parts was the last piece. Well, Cody, I got two phone shows running right now. One on TikTok and one on YouTube. <laughs> it is, Molly. Uh, everything I build, I try to put as much detail to it as I can. Well, uh, Jaren, 
I haven't had any luck selling it yet. Uh, asking price is 300k plus tax. Uh, no. Um, F A I Z A. FASA. I don't have any World War II anything other than uh, I did build the USS Arizona many years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, I like Pepsi. <laughs> Uh, next Tuesday, Les, 1130 Pacific Standard Time is the next Dagwood build. I can show you a TIE Fighter. Yeah, I can. Ah, uh, have no idea what that is, Cody. Uh, Anthony, that is a crazy question. I don't think so. Because the Star Destroyer has a, an entire complement of fighters. And the fighters in mass would be able to wear the shields down on the Enterprise and then the big boy guns from the Star Destroyer would make holes in the Enterprise that could not be repaired. Hi, right, Jack. It's doing good. Uh, this one, this was before I was actually counting time and parts. And, but I think because of how much paper I had to build the cockpit with, that this was probably a 250-hour build. Oh, paper guns? Well, um, this paper gun. Oh, uh, well, egg, um, isn't that a thing now? Can't you get like a hall pass and go anytime? Uh, yes, it is. And the cool thing is, it's a tutorial build. Uh, the concept tank over on YouTube. Hi, Crow. And that would be Crow 8. Hi, Crow 8. Nice to see you. Yeah, Jahid, I do. Um, I try to always remember my followers and, and people who come to my show. Now, if, you, if, if you've been gone for six months or something, it's a lot harder to remember. Um, Anthony, my paper comes out of my kitchen for free. All right? All my building materials. Don't cost a thing. It's free. I eat the food. I get the building materials left over. And so I've never paid for paper except once. One time I had to pay buy paper, and that's because I needed uh, black construction paper to make the tires and wheels on the John Deere. The first and only time in 15 years I had to buy paper. Hi, Farm Talk. Nice to see you. Thank you, Jack, very much. Alfie? <laughs> Well, Alfie, uh, you can't go to the restroom uh, over there in England anytime you want. How's your mom, Alfie, and your sister? Hi, Brown. Nice to see you. Uh, yes, uh, German guy, I do have an at at walker. And how's your little brother doing, Alfie? I don't want to forget him. Uh, 
Uh, thank you. And uh, Jolene, it's all recycled paper. All right. I, I buy Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe. And uh, that's a buck fifty at the dollar store. And uh, I bought a good pair of scissors. Had them for many years. There's nothing wrong with them. They still cut paper really well. And some clamps and different things, little things that I need. But my paper is all free. Acrylic paint is cheap too. I'm doing good, Alfie. Thank you very much. We got a hundred thousand followers here on TikTok, and I've got over six thousand. YouTube. I don't paint or sketch anymore. Um, I really love making custom jewelry. <laughs> and, and so, and I don't get to do this anymore very often because I don't have the money to be able to buy the equipment to actually build jewelry. Well, you're right, Alfie. He, he's wrong. <laughs> he can't. Um, shortest time build? Yes, I can. I do. I do have a small version of the AT, -AT Walker. It's a micro AT, -AT. Um, Fastest build. Yep, fastest build. I can make lightsabers in one hour. Yep, these are the fastest right here. Oh, Mickle, that's cool. Painting is a good thing. My mom did. Hi, POV. Oh, thank you, Farm Talk, for going over to YouTube and subscribing. Check my tutorials out, Farm Talk. Oh, thank you, POV, very much. Um, and you can make anything you want once you learn my techniques. Doesn't matter what it is. You can make bugs. You know? Um, yeah, you might be a, a Walking Dead fan. Yeah, you can build Lucille, too. Uh, German guy, I do happen to have an ATST. I'm doing good, Gunner. Thank you very much. Uh, Bill, wait a second, Gunner. Um, I got to show the build that took the shortest amount of time. Right here. It's tutorials. Micro X-Wings. Over on my YouTube site. These are the quickest builds. There's only 16 parts to make the whole thing. Okay. ATST. All-Terrain Scout Transport. Uh-huh. Thank you, Molly, very much. Thank you, Big. There it is, German guy. All-Terrain Scout Transport, better known as the Chicken Walker. Thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know, Trip. I've thought about that too. Uh, my favorite piece, uh, Zodril, and what? What is? What is that? Millerad. Yeah, Millerad. The Zaku Gundam. This is my favorite piece. Uh, Pulsar, I use Elmer's glue. And the thing is, I'm very careful about uh, wiping off any excess. And since it's water-soluble glue, um, if you get glue on some spot that you've got paint, all you have to do is dab a little... Uh, Kleenex or something in some water and it'll wipe right off and I am very meticulous when it comes to keeping my models clean 
Hi, Cecil. Thank you, Big, very much. Uh, yes, Dominic uh, Bender. Uh, yes, as soon as I'm done with this tractor, I will take on another commission build. Welcome back, Justin. Nice to see you. Uh, well, Mickle, the cool thing is, I don't plan on going anywhere in the next hundred years. So enjoy the show. And I'm on two times a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, Millerad, the very first thing was this uh, Millennium Falcon right here. Made out of a mac and cheese box, some acrylic paint, and Elmer's glue. I know, Trip. I only have that one gun. Uh, thank you, Pulsar. And yeah, uh, the whole thing is, because you use acrylic paint and you brush it on... You can do just about any paint design you want. Thank you, Mikkel. Absolutely. Um, what did Dominic ask me to build or want me to build? Oh, Jolene, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, user, I am thinking about building um, yeah, big projects. How, how big? Something like this? Yeah, I'm sorry, big. I don't have time to make a B-52. I do, Farm Talk. I have a large falcon. Uh, well, Dominic, I could definitely do that, uh, but I need to know what size you want and how much you would like to spend for something like that. Uh, BFCO, um, I can build anything. It, it's not the it's not the point of can I build something. Uh, the point is, do I have time to do it? Trip wants to see the SR seventy one X man. Okay, here you go, Trip. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, no, no stormtroopers. I don't build action figures. Uh-oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The radar dish comes off just like it did in the movie. I should say the communications array. Thank you, user. Hi, AI. Nice to meet you. A uh, lot of pieces. They're hollow. See how this is back here? All right. Now, granted, they're spaced farther apart inside here, but it's basically the same thing. All right, just like making the tractor, you, you can see this uh, with the tractor. That's exactly what's inside of everything that I've made.
Um, a big, um, you can pretty much talk to me right here. A uh, big, if you go to my bio, I have a, um, a P.O. box. Or you can send a private message to me about what you want. But if it is something like this tractor, this is a $2,000 build. So before you decide on what you want, you need to know what size you want it and how much you're willing to pay for something custom made. I know, Cecil. My first piece that I used recycled paper on, this uh, mac and cheese box, still got it today, 15 years later. Yes, absolutely, Mama. Superstructure. Inside. It's all supported. Everything I build, I teach you how to build with supports. Then you put the sheeting on. Then the armor goes over that and all the detail work. It makes... An incredibly strong, hollow, lightweight toy. And the cool thing is, if you break it, it's paper. You rebuild it. It just glue back together. Uh, no, Big, I am not. This has taken me over two months to build. So that's less than a grand a month. So actually, no. No. Because I can't make a hundred of them in a month. I can make one in two months or three. So it isn't bank like people think it would be. Uh, the windows on this were just a screen protector off my 13-inch TV. Uh, no, Darwin. Well, yes, Darwin, I am. And yeah. Uh, because all of these designs, I have to make all of these by hand. And so I do design my own stuff. And so, but being a toy designer, uh, not really. Uh, well, uh, you can go to my tutorials. And who is that? Tiles? T-A-L-I-E-S. Tails. Uh, you can go to my uh, YouTube here, uh, the real uh, the paper engineer, and look at my tutorials. And it shows you how they're built. They're they're built one piece at a time. Oh, oh, thank you, River Serpent. Oh, thank you very much. I uh, thank you, Big. Very much. I appreciate that. Uh, it is, Cecil. More so than... Because you can't, you can't build this stuff quick. It does take uh, quite a bit of time. No, Cecil. That's a zero. Uh, this one... Uh, this is a 100K build, um, and I won't sell it for anything less. It's a one-of-a-kind art paper piece made by me, and I am a master at paper toys. Or paper art, I guess you can call it. And so, but no, people say, oh, that's too much money. Okay, I don't care. Sorry. Um, but if somebody wants one of my one-of-a-kind paper pieces... Uh, they're going to pay me what I think it's worth. It is a cool hobby, German. And I highly suggest you take it up as a hobby. Don't try to buy my stuff unless you win the mega lottery. Then I'll sell it to you. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> he calls me Paper Picasso. <laughs> uh, no, I do see so, but they don't know me. And they don't care to know me. They have my phone number. They have my shows. They never show up. They never call. They never come over. And so it's one of those kind of things that's like, oh, well, I got grandkids and uh, sons and daughters all over the world right here on my phone shows.
Well, Millerad, if you go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, you can start making things better than just paper boats. Or you can make really good paper boats. You can put remote controls in and float them around on a lake. Thank you, Cecil, very much. I do, Van. Awesome sauce. Mark, nice to see you. Welcome back. I've been doing very good, Mark. Staying busy, staying fit, as fit as I can be, I suppose, for 70. <laughs> oh, that's all right, Galaxy. You know, dragons, sometimes when you're listening to my show, you just fall asleep. I don't know. I should do ASMR, but I don't know how. Anyway. <laughs> I will, Lucas. Absolutely. Next four. Welcome to the show. Oh, that's cool, Cecil. I am. Nice to see you too, Adam. Absolutely. I will keep it coming. Well, Cecil, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy to be your granddad if that's what you need me to do. <laughs> Dex4. <laughs> Dex4 falls asleep to me a lot, too. Thanks, Dex. <laughs> well, dragons, that's fantastic news. I hope that you get the rest you need. Well, Dominic Bender, here's the deal. I'm not sure what's going on, but if my moderators catch your attention in a bad way, they roll you right on out of the show. Because that's what we do with trolls. And I don't know if they're insinuating you're a troll or not, but um, it might be. Oh, geez. A uh, unicorn? Uh, I've literally built hundreds of stuff. Uh, this is the, my last commission piece I'm working on right now. Is this John Deere tractor? Uh, but I mean, I I have everything from bugs to spaceships. Oh, I should say a bug to spaceships. Yes, trip, I do. In about two hours, ten minutes. Oh, Cecil, that is so cool uh, that you got four grandkids that enjoy your content. I am so happy that that's going on, Cecil. I didn't understand all that until now. Great news, Cecil. I'm glad. Uh, Farm Talk? No, they have not. Uh, thank you, Unicorn. And uh, I I've made a lot of genres of stuff. Real stuff, too. Uh, no, uh, Rowan, I do not. Uh, the only thing that I do is I teach people how to build this stuff on my YouTube channel, uh, The Paper Engineer. All right, Trip. Take care. Be safe. Yeah. Um, none of my grandkids uh, come to the shows or call me or come see me. None of them. And so it, I can't do anything about that. And so I don't worry about it. Hi, Ethan. Nice to see you. Yeah, Star Wars is, is awesome. You bet, Rowan. And uh, if you decide to start making paper toys, take and make micro machines first. And always make at least three to five of them. Because that way you'll learn different things to make each piece uh, go together better. So your fifth one will always be the best. It is, Cecil. I love my family on TikTok and YouTube. Worldwide. Thank you all 
for being my family. I really, really love you very much. I know you do, Cecil. Uh, my favorite tool. Wow. It, it, you really, um, I don't know if there's a favorite tool. But the two things I use the most is a dental tool and this steel rule and my scissors. Um, I got a good pair of tweezers recently. Uh, these are very handy. Uh, my pencil. And so I don't really have a favorite tool. <laughs> oh, wait. There is a tool that is my favorite. Doggone it, it just hit me. This Dremel light. This has saved me literally thousands of hours of sanding because of this little round flat spot. Yes, favorite tool right here, Dremel light. I have an X-Acto knife, but I don't use them very often. I mean, it's super rare that I have to. I know, Wolf. It really did. Two hours just cruises by. Bye, Dominic. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. Well, Zai, that's awesome news. Does he ever come to the show? Well, German, the nice thing is, um, it's a dedication thing. All you have to do is dedicate you know, a couple hours on a weekend, you know, on a Saturday or Sunday, and work on them for a couple hours, and then put it in a box and wait for next weekend. And over a period of time, you can learn some amazing things about paper. I know, Ninja. Um, I agree with you. Hi, Keaton. Welcome to the show. Well, uh, Nolan, I'm working on the chassis, the undercarriage part of it right now. And I'm also working on the three-point hitch. Well, uh, Susie, uh, excuse me. Scoozy. Uh, I was in the Grey Bar Motel, as a lot of folks know, and the guys in there were playing Star Wars, and I wanted to play. And they had a piece of paper like this. All right, Aaron, take care. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, they had a piece of paper this big. Uh, that was their Millennium Falcon. And I couldn't uh, do that with a role-playing game. And so I went up to my cell on the weekend, and uh, I ate a box of mac and cheese, uh, took some mac and cheese box and Elmer's glue and acrylic paint and I made this Falcon. That was January of 2010 and I've been building ever since. Never stopped. Dallas, it's going good. You caught the end of the show. I'm sorry. Oh, Scuzzy, not Scoozy. <laughs> Scoozy's cool. I, I don't. If you don't mind, I'll call you Scoozy. That's like a uh, Scoozy me. I got to get through. Scoozy me. Scoozy me. Come on. S step aside. <laughs> Sun and moon and stars and number one always. Thank you, Scoozy. Uh, my brain works that way. Kind of weird like that. Comes up with weird stuff. All right, Dallas, I'll be back in two hours. Otherwise, next Monday, noon, Pacific Standard Time. Well, I'm glad you got watching ability, Dirk. <laughs> All right, Mark, take care. <laughs> Absolutely, Scoozy, thank you. I know, I know Rossi, I know Nolan, but you know what? Oh well, it's healed, other than the broken bone. Uh, well, it's healed too. It don't hurt any.
Well, Zai, that's fantastic news. I'm glad I do. I hope that there's all kinds of things that you can learn and techniques and build some amazing stuff. Thank you, Ninja, very much. I have building tutorials. And if you start something, start with a micro machine. These are pretty easy to build, actually. I can build them just out of my head now. I don't have any pictures or nothing. Thank you, Cecil, very much. Two minutes of the show left, you guys, and I'm out. Thank you, Mark, Dylan. A-I-S-H-A. Akshaya. Anastasia. <laughs> Hi, Anastasia. You caught the end of the show. I'm sorry. Thank you, Nolan. <laughs> well, Nolan, next time you come in the show, come in early and tell me what you're working on and I'll help you. The origami kid. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, this is not origami. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ninja, I'm out in Washington State. Alpha Wolf. Thank you, Alpha Wolf, for all your help. Thank you, Rose. You caught the end of the show, you guys. Matter of fact, it's so much to the end of the show, I have to close both of them, TikTok and YouTube. All right, you guys, remember, it doesn't matter what you are. doesn't matter where you are. does not matter who you are. does not matter what color you are. And it don't matter what religion you are. We all live on the third rock from the sun. That makes us human beings. We need to be better human beings because all this war garbage has got to stop. The only thing that happens is innocent people get hurt. So, Hamas, Israel, Russia, France, America, quit fighting. It's wrong. It hurts the innocent. Take care, everybody. I'll be back in two hours. If you can't come then, Monday at noon Pacific Standard Time or two hours earlier than right now, I will do my live. Take care, everybody. I'll be back soon. See you later.